Hello and welcome to the Dustin and Eric Podcast Show brought to you by Mimosa Networks. Hi, I'm Dustin. And I'm Eric. And today we're on episode number 38. We're going to talk about a brand new product called the B5X. So some of you might already know about this product as some of our beta testers have been posting you know, pictures and talking about how awesome the unit is on Facebook or other media. But hello, here it is, actually. Hey, do you have a picture of it? Here it is. Woo! Big old metal radio here. Let's see the back of it, or give it a 180, please. Give it a hose clamp, two hose clamps, a couple of LEDs on the back. Beautiful, yeah. There's yep. a LEDs here. It's pretty radio. It's pretty heavy, too. Well, not as heavy as a B5, but it's it's solid, that's for sure. So, yep, yep. Right, so the B5X is, uh, like I said, brand new. Uh, it will run between five and six hundred dollars. The price isn't quite set in stone yet. You know, the B5, the B5 stops around as far as spectrum uh, uh, coverage around fifty eight seventy, I believe. So this B5X will take us up to the, you know, into Uni 5, et cetera, at, uh, you know, 6,400 or so megahertz. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I've done a lot of testing at 6.4 uh, on the B5X, and there's only maybe 1 to 1.5 dB loss going all the way to 6.4. So it's a it's definitely a huge, huge game changer because, um, you know, other radios really fall off on, uh, you know, output power as they go up. Mm-hmm. And, so this one doesn't. It's, it's solid all the and way. I guess I guess finding, yeah, and finding uh, we've got the versatility of all the the uh, uh, N5X uh, series uh, high gain antennas up to you know X25, and we've we've got some some new antennas coming out as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the screw on type, right? Yeah, looking forward to them. They uh, give you a little more option, you know, up in the yeah. higher. I can't really give definite numbers on what they will be, but we can say that they're going to be sure. Larger than what we have. Basically, this radio is a, a direct replacement for the B5. Um, it's a 4x4, 1.5 gig throughput, just like the B5, but way more robust. Like Eric said, it's got different antenna options, so it's not locked to 25 gain uh, or 25 dBi gain on that. So, you know, a lot more versatile for you. And we're we're seeing some good uh, some good rates and some good testing. We we have a few. Uh, testers uh, across the United States uh, with links that are, you know, from seven tenths of a mile uh, using X20 or 25. And, um, and we have one uh, tester link uh, south of the San Francisco area at 11 miles, but, but they have not got back up on the tower to kind of repeak it yet, but mm-hmm. it's uh, it's, so it's off a target, but it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's rolling right along and it's, it's been solid for, uh, I don't know, 38, 38 days now. I believe yeah. so. Yep, he just hasn't repeaked it. They haven't peaked the signal. <laughs> yeah, people are having really good luck with these radios, um, and of course, you can put smaller antennas on there too. So if you need, you know, throughput but a smaller profile, you can definitely do that as well. So the the B5X is very similar to the C5X, where it's uh, a built-in 8 dBi uh, without the dish. You can run it without the dish if you want to, but for very short shots. Um, it's about three pounds of solid die-cast al- aluminum. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's robust. Yeah. It's from four nine to Love six. It. We talked about six four. We didn't really talk about four point nine, but you can definitely go from four nine to six four with it. And very similar yep. to our other radios, where it uses uh, up to twenty watts max on power consumption. Uh, IP sixty seven. Right. So we recommend that the, the full uh, uh, POE passive POE at uh, you know forty eight to fifty six volts typically. Would right. you say? Yep. Yep, just yeah. like uh, the other radios we have. All right, Eric. So, is there anything else that you wanna you bring up before we close out this video? I I think that's it. We we got a couple of uh, points on it, on it. Uh, maybe approximate price range and availability. Yep. And uh, yeah, I like it. Um, oh, that's and it for me. One last thing uh, is that um, when this video goes live, you can also go to the design tool and uh, create some B5X links in the design tool as well, just so you can kind of get an understanding of what you can and can't do with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good point. Yep. Yep. So glad to be able to finally talk about the B5X and, you know, really looking forward to talking about the other products we have coming, you know, sometime in the near future. So 
just stay tuned and watch out for more from Mimosa. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe or follow button to stay up to date with our latest podcast, which will be available on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, and SoundCloud.